Here are the nominees for Fight of the Year. April 11th in Brooklyn, New York, Andy Lee versus Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen. Oh! oh wow. A right hand by Quillen puts Lee down. And oh. Oh, what the right hand down goes Quillen! August 14th in Newark, New Jersey, Christoph Lovatsky versus Marco Hook. And a oh. left hand! Klovatsky for the first time in his career. Just take the legs out from the guy that... Oh! Down goes Hook! The first time in his career he has been knocked to the canvas. Can he get up? August 29th in Los Angeles, California. Leo Santa Cruz versus Abner Mares. He's putting on heat. Santa Cruz comes with a right hand of his own. Back and forth they go. There's a right uppercut on the inside. There's a left hand from Santa Cruz on the attack. Morris comes forward. It's a great fight. October 16th in Chicago, Illinois. Andrew Fonfara versus Nathan Cleverly. Both these guys are proud warriors, proud of where they're from. They're not going to back off. The bell rings. A stare down at the center of the ring. November 13th in Biloxi, Mississippi, Edwin Rodriguez versus Michael Seal. Oh, it's Rodriguez! And then Rodriguez took a shot as he threw one, and he might not be able to get up. Rodriguez with a punch that got an ooh and an off of the crowd. Starting to feel it a little bit, taking his hands down around his waist and going for another shot on Seal. Seal is down in round number two. The nominees for Fight of the Year. So those are the nominees for Fight of the Year. Each one a tremendous display of heart and skill by both fighters. To announce the winner, we now go to someone that knows a little something about great fights. Twice he was victorious in epic bouts that were ultimately named Fight of the Year. Our very own Sugar Ray Leonard. Thanks, Lim. You know, I was in some pretty big fights during my career. I remember facing Tommy Hearns in the 1981 Fight of the Year at Caesars Palace like it was yesterday. I mean, I'm still feeling the pain from that fight. I'm <laughs> Just kidding. But I want to congratulate all the nominees on the effort they put forth and the show they put on. But there could be only one winner. Our 2015 Fight of the Year is... Christoph Grobonski versus Marco Hook. For the first time in his career, Kristoff Gravonsky on his back. The count has reached six. Can he make it? Is he solid? Is he solid? Hook trying to close out Gravonsky. Amazing action. Oh! Down goes Hook. The first time in his career he has been knocked to the canvas. Can he get up? They will fight on with 30 seconds left to go. He hits him again. Hook is in major trouble. It's get over. over. It's over. Gravonsky with the amazing 11th round knockout. This is the kind of story you watch boxing for with an even more spectacular finish. Now that 11th round knockout by the underdog Glavosky denied Hook a record 14 straight 200 pound title defense. Glavosky, here's what he had to say after the victory. Quote, when I was knocked down in the sixth round, I didn't know where I was and it took me a whole round to regain myself. I was listening to my corner, though, and when I heard that there was only one minute left in the 11th round, I knew I had to come on strong, end quote. Glavatsky, now the undefeated cruiserweight champion, and the fans have also picked Glavatsky Hook as the 2015 Fight of the Year, with that bout bringing in approximately 44% of the total votes. Joined again by BJ Flores, so the fans picked this as Fight of the Year. I know you picked this as Fight of the Year as well. Explain the significance. Marco Hook, he was the universally recognized champion at cruiserweight and the man. This was his first fight in America and was supposed to be his coming out party. All right, let's go through two key rounds in this fight, six and 11. We start with round six. What are you seeing here? You know, Marco Hook did a very good move. He saw Glovesky reaching with the jab, so he taunted the jab, comes around his guard with the left hook, hits him, hurts him, has him in a lot of trouble. But look, Glovesky showed a lot of grit and a lot of determination. Nice catch counter back from Glovesky there. And later in the fight, bang into the body of the champion, finishing him off with that nice overhand left, power, grit, determination. What's not to like? It's truly amazing fight. 
But don't worry, we've got much more to come. Don't go anywhere. Who will be your 2015 Fighter of the Year? Stick around to find out. The last award is coming up right after this. Coming up next, we'll name the PBC Fighter of the Year when Premier Boxing Champion's Best of 2015 returns.